Coming up next, we're going to be talking about how transitions can help bring you some self-awareness. Welcome back, transitioneers. That's my new thing for this 2020 year is transitioneer. Transitioneer is an individual that goes through transitions. Pretty simple. You're pioneering your own transition, so why not be a transitioneer? We're going to be talking about that on today's epi episode. That is a new word. You guys know I'm James Cotton, Ohio State football player, once upon a time in life, OSU, NFL, all of that fun stuff, man. And I love talking transitions because my transition wasn't the most easiest thing to do, but I've had fun doing it and I've had fun sharing you sharing with you guys some of my transitions. And one of the one things that I learned, I had to learn how to become self-aware. I had to audit myself. I had to basically run down a checklist of things. Who am I? What am I? What do I like to do? What are my passions? So when you self audit yourself, you become self aware. And that is one of the key things you need to understand about transitions, because that'll help you discover where your passions lie. So my passion lie within helping children. I love giving back to the community. I felt like the more people that I help, the more I help myself. And so for me to be able to get that spunk and that energy from youth, that keeps me young. So if you guys wondering why I got my skin looks so good, you know, but I digress. One of the cool things is being self-aware because that enhances your ability to take it to the next level. So the one thing that I've learned when ad addressing my self-awareness was I wasn't afraid anymore. I wasn't afraid to portray the fact that I'm not playing in the NFL no more. I'm not that person anymore. I had to transition. And one of the things, like I said, that helped me was working with kids. One of my first deals was working with children that had lost loved ones due to any type of illness or cancer. And so when you're helping individuals through the grieving process, that hit home for me. And I was like, wow, this is what transition is all about because this young individual is transitioning through grief. But one of the things that the kids or individuals will teach you that are going through transitions is most of them lack self-awareness, their self-identity. They struggle with that. So, like I said, who am I? You got to ask yourself those questions. And the great thing about it is that you will discover that in the more things that you try to attempt to do or the people you surround yourself with, they will help you do the self audit that you're going to need to transition into a space to where you feel comfortable and happy because that's what we're searching for at the end of the day. And once you become self-aware, you become authentic and there's nothing like authenticity. So once you put all of the things that people may think about you, what are they going to say? Who cares? The thing is, is do you wake up when you look in the morning and you wash your face and brush your teeth? Are you comfortable with that person that you see? So become authentic. This is real. People say, hey, let's keep it real. Let's keep it 100. This is how you do that. You have to be able to look yourself in the mirror and say, hey, you know what? I gave it my best. I got the opportunity. I didn't get it this time. But what did I do wrong? What lessons did I learn? So let's encapsulate all of those things and take it to the next level. So what things may not go your way? I'll tell you what, Ohio State's team, if you guys are familiar with the Buckeyes, a lot of people felt like they got hosed, they got robbed. Well, they did, but they had opportunities after that. And you have to maximize those opportunities. I won a championship on every level, and I know from a fact that you have to be able to handle sudden change. And in life, sudden change happens. And when you do not respond accordingly, then things may not go your way. But you have to bury it. You have to move on. We can't just stay in the present. Hey, it happened. We didn't come. It didn't go our way. So guess what? It was an unbelievable season. And that's how you have to look at life. This is, I'm having an unbelievable life. I'm still here. I'm breathing. The good Lord put me around people that love me. That's all that really matters. So I like to thank you guys so much for tuning in. This was therapeutic for me. And I hope that it was therapeutic for you. So here's one of the quotes that stick out to me after doing this segment is due to the lack of self identity, one may have an unrealistic appraisal of him or herself. 
So you guys take that quote, think about it and tune in to us next week. Leave me some comments. We'll talk about it some more. But I really appreciate the opportunity to vent to you guys, man. I feel a lot better now. I hope you do, too. So thank you so much for tuning in. If you need to get a hold of me, all my social media platforms are available. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you guys so much. Peace.